Congratulations po kay sa FDC Fair ano. Uh, what do you expect to do sa tenure nyo as uh, FDCP chair ngayon? Well, basically to mm -hmm. the, 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 the mandate of the office is uh -huh. to help uh, live up lift Filipino film industry. So mm -hmm. that's basically our target. Mm -hmm. We have programs to try and uh, help producers and even uh, gaya nga nyo sa cinema na mm -hmm. uh, ano, uh, the next generation uh, filmmakers and uh, producers and then of course to uh, to improve the situation of our film work anything that has to do with film and if we can help we will extend our help mm. from the office well, but you know that the job of uh, FDC Pictures and Herculean task uh, is a very uh, uh, demanding demanding job. It's a Herculean task. It I mean is, to say, it's uh, a demanding job. Uh -huh. I guess if you, if anyone who mm -hmm. works with FDC, if you just follow the dictates of the mandate, then it's not going to be that hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just uh, you just work within the mandate of the of the framework of, mm -hmm. of the FDP and everything will work out fine. Pero uh, ano ho ba babawas-bawas sa inyo ang uh, paggawa ng movies dahil syempre full-time job ang FDCP chair. Yeah, I mean I can still do movies and TV. Mm -hmm. Although although of course the FDCP will take priority over mm -hmm. my schedules. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of uh, scheduling. Uh, scheduling, mm -hmm. scheduling uh, that it doesn't cross over or overlap yeah, yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. So what, what programs na napsimula na ng FDCP under uh, Chair Lisa ang ipapapatuloy nyo? Totally pa naman namin lahat. Everything that's working well, mm -hmm. gagawin namin. Gabi nga nila, the expression, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Mm -hmm. So wala naman, tutuloy namin yung iba. And then, mm -hmm. we just have some realignments and redirections that mm -hmm. we will be doing because from my side naman, I mean, I'd like to add a little more na, ano, mm -hmm. uh, in the improvement of uh, overall, not only just films, uh, mm -hmm. even the condition of uh, the workers and uh, even uh, mga, mga bata who are starting and uh, really interested in learning about films and uh, the, the, rigor, the rigors of uh, producing a film or being a cinematographer or script writing, mm -hmm. all these things, uh, if we can help them in a way uh, para matulungan sila to learn, then we will be there. We will have programs for them and we will be open. They can approach us, we can give them, I mean, uh, for uh, even for short films, uh -huh. uh, no, doing short films, uh -huh. if we can give them grants or funds uh -huh. to help them out, uh -huh. but depending on of course, they have to apply and there are certain policies that they have to follow. At the ratings are going, what do you think are the immediate concerns that needs to that need to be addressed by FDCP? Well, actually, it, the, the, it, it's getting over the scale of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Getting people back into the theaters mm -hmm. and uh, having more, more films, more, mm -hmm. more producers to, mm -hmm. to do films. Mm -hmm. uh, not only just do films, but do quality films, which I mean, our producers are very capable of doing, mm. even our writers and directors. Mm -hmm. So, kasama din siyempre yung online platform sa mga sinusuporta. Yung online platform, that's not, that's not within our mandate. Mm -hmm. Ang online platform is streaming, that's not our mandate. Our mandate is film, yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about yung movies na pinalalabas sa online platform like Viva Max and all? Well, that, they have the right. They can, they, they, they mm. can do that, of course. We will support that also. Mm. So, kanya nga dami ko. If it is within the mandate of the FDC, mm. they, they can expect help from us when they need it. Mm. Yeah. Have you done any movies sa uh, online platform? Hindi pa, wala pa. Thank you. Oh, sige, Derek. Ah, sige, sige. Thank you, ha. Thank you.